Hey YouTubers, JB Coins here. Um, thought I'd tackle a topic that comes up every once in a while in the comments. Uh, those of us that enjoy coin roll hunting for a lot of different reasons don't need to answer this question, but uh, every once in a while we'll get um, somebody that will make a comment that we're wasting our time. Uh, you know, that, that uh, coin roll hunting pennies, for example, um, or any of the coins is just a waste of time and you know you can't make any money at it and you know there are two hours you'll never get back that kind of stuff um, what are you gonna make ten dollars what five dollars whatever so if you're not just a coin collector which we've said before we're coin collectors first we're corn roll hunters second we're coin hoarders third um, here's some of our errors that you've probably seen before 63D, it's not going to show up great through the plastic. It's a double strike on the back where you have one memorial that is about 30 degrees clocked and then stamped a second time. You have the Delaware Spinning Horse that we recently found on our change. This is a fairly dramatic Lincoln Air Penny that you probably saw in one of our videos where that was poking through the wrapper. Um, that has some value, but value is only realized when you sell it. So if you say, oh, well, you know, you didn't make any money because you didn't sell, uh, you know, hundred dollars worth of, uh, here's the thing. We don't sell our errors. We don't sell things like this. We don't sell things like this, but if we wanted to, um, you know, if we were doing this purely for profit, you know, there's a pretty cool and fairly common error penny right there. You can get a few bucks for that. Now, there's one on eBay of these in pretty beat up condition, from what I can tell. Got the spinning horse, but it's also got a lot of damage to it from die cracks that go around the base and in several places, including on the face of the coin. Looks a little off to me, and it's $3.99 buy it now. That was pointed out to me by one of our viewers that you know, wanted to kind of shoot us down for making a big deal about um, a kind of a cool air, you know, to those of us that like this stuff. So partially to show you guys what to look for um, and partially to show some of the other folks that maybe don't have a positive attitude, uh, maybe should be watching some other kind of videos. Um, <laughs> wanted to show you a few things that are out there on eBay today, for example, um, as I shoot this video. So for your pleasure, I'm going to show you a couple things. Okay, decided to throw a couple more out here, lest you think that we only have four errors in our collection. We have quite a few more than this, but we figured we'd throw some easy ones out here real quick. You can see a bunch of uh, Lincoln error pennies down here. Uh, here's a Mercury error, error from 1943. Uh, some more error pennies. Here's one that's actually a blank planchette, which some of you guys have, have reported finding. And, uh, you know, we did too. Uh, there's a 73D off center strike. And there's another Lincoln error penny and another 1941, which I think you saw us find on one of our videos. Uh, it's a D lamb. Uh, so there's all kinds of errors out there. We've got many, many more, but we don't want to just throw them all up here on the table. We want to show you a couple of things that are outside of um, this category. You know, what are we looking for? Sometimes, you know, photos of this, it's hard to see the detail. We've tried to show you detail. The next thing you're going to see is probably one of the best examples and clearest examples of one of the easiest things for us to try and find. So here comes uh, something you're gonna like. Okay, we've all read, if we've done any studying, we've watched any videos, including ours, we've talked about the 1955 double dye penny, wheat penny, Lincoln. That's pretty obvious, okay? Um, I'm going to show you a couple of more photos and I'm trying to not make it obvious whose coin this is for sale. Uh, it's not ours. 
We don't have any connection to these guys other than we've bought coins from them in the past, so we're on their email list. Okay, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? The liberty is very clearly doubled, and God we trust is very clearly doubled, and the 1955 is very clearly doubled. Now this is a gem class, gem BU, uh, 1955 double die. So in a second here, I'm going to see if I can pull up what it's currently going for on eBay. Okay, with just under eight hours left, this coin is currently at $1,125. With eight hours left, there's a pretty good chance it's going to go north of $1,125. Um, if you found this in a coin roll, I think it would be worth the eight or 10 or 12 or 50 boxes that you might have gone through to find this. But, you know, we're kind of like treasure hunters and historians, and we're trying to find these things. If I wanted to, I'd get just go take the money out of the bank and buy something like this. Well, I probably wouldn't. But, uh, you know, we have bought some coins to complete our collection in certain areas, but not to the extent of these kind of prices. But something like this, we'd still keep it. <laughs> we'd show it to you guys because you'd see us do it, but we would keep it. So anyway, uh, there are lots of other coins out there, um, lots of key dates. Uh, there are coins that are way more valuable than this, but I picked this one because this particular year and this particular error are considered to be among one of the most popular and one of the most common. So for one that's most common, and granted you're not gonna find a lot of BU state like this, but take a look at the scratches, the dings, the nicks, and what defines a BU on a 60 year old coin. It's not the same as a 2016 coin. So don't be put off by a few blemishes here and there. Take a look at the rim on this coin. It's got some nicks. It's still graded because of its age as a BU coin. So I would be surprised if this thing didn't close out at tonight at 14, 1500 bucks. Even at 1125, I'd have a hard time thinking, okay, that's a mortgage payment or two. Um, maybe, you know, don't know. Maybe that's a vacation for somebody. Um, but anyway, uh, thought I'd give that to you. Hope you guys uh, find it interesting. And in our next video, this is exactly what we're going to be looking for, among other things. So for now, JB Coins, signing out.